Welcome back everyone and happy Halloween. Given the date that we are having today, what would be more appropriate than going into the Nightmare Tower, just playing a few random matches and at the same time maybe ha let's have a look at some cool presets. So here we have a resurrection team and for that we will take a counter team to deal with resurrection. Now with this preset I set it so that Noob Cybot will open and he has a special one ready to go. He's low fusion, all he needs to do is apply the death mark and then we immediately tag 2 MK11 Jade and she has the special tool also ready which is unblockable. We go into the crushing blow and Goro is gone for good. And now we retaliate against Kitana a little bit. And maybe tag to Cabal so that Jade can keep her special two outside. Okay, special two is ready, but of course she power drains him now. But now, thanks to the block, Noob Cybot's passive kicked in and she has the death mark. Special two by Jade takes out Kitana without resurrection. Here we block the special one, death mark is applied. Then right back to the next special two. And crushing blow. And we got through this match without a single character resurrecting here. Did you think you could win? <laughs> Excellent. And I've been mainly focusing here on MK11 cards since their synergies are pretty solid, I would say. So uh, here we have like nothing really in particular. We don't have stun, we don't have power drain. So let's just go with Sub-Zero as backup and Jade to deal with the DOTs. In most cases, MK11 Scorpion is a solid fighter, so he will be doing the main work when it comes to damage, while the teammates constantly change to support him. Here he already takes out Vampiris Molina, crushing blow, and then maybe a tag to Jade. She's also a lot of fun to play, let's get her up to a special two apply the crushing blow and with that scorpion is out now directly the tag to sub-zero also unblockable special two let's go for the crushing blow which power drained him at the same time and the stun also and here we have a brutality ending this match with ease So for this match we have regeneration, it's a little bit tricky because we have not only classic smoke who deals or who supports other classic teammates a lot, but also Liu Kang who's immune to most of that stuff, but let's go in anyway.
So in most normal cases, Cabal might apply poison already at match begin. He's really just there to support the tag directly goes to Scorpion. Here we have the combo ender leading into the special one. This way now we can cripple Liu Kang so that he cannot use his specials. And another special one that should take him out now. And then the tag to Reptile. Dealing some good damage to Smoke here. Just a few more basics. And Smoke is out. And back to Scorpion interrupting Classic Raiden. Also disabling his special attacks. And Combo Ender for the victory. Vengeance is mine. Excellent. Now for uh, it takes only one. I would usually go with a preset that includes Sub-Zero, but we have Stun and we have DOTs in there as well as Poison. So for this one I will be going with the regular Stun preset. And here we already start against Classic Reptile. The stun, of course, mainly important because of Ravenous Molina. Now, special one. Can we take him out? Yeah, looks like. Okay, Reptile's gone. Now, tag to Jade. And special one. The Scorpion is almost out. Okay. Okay, we resisted the stun. So, Cabal didn't even have to come in. But we can bring him now anyway and apply. A crushing blow and ending this match as well. Vengeance is mine. Outstanding. Now in this one we have a knocked out, but at the same time we also have Sonya Blade in there for power drain, potentially. So I'm going for a preset that contains stun and power drain resistance. And that should get us through this match easily. Right, then here we're starting against Cold War Sub Zero. Fight. Immediately going for the special one, breaking his shield. We don't need to charge that up for damage because it will not make that much of a difference. But here now for the second one, let's go for the crushing blow, and that will take out Cold War Sub Zero. Now the tag to Raiden. And directly dropping the special one, breaking Scorpion's shield now. And thanks to my talent tree, he also disabled his special attacks for a short while. Now let's break the shield of Sonya and tag back to Scorpion. Let's power drain her. Okay, and one more. Here is Scorpion, special one. Okay, victory. Vengeance is mine. Outstanding. Now here we have Enraged, Raiden could stun and Johnny could power drain, same as Raiden's passive technically, so we just stick with this preset.
Then we are working on taking out Raiden first. Fight. Let's open here, combo ender. And special one. Impressive. Crushing low. And Raiden is out. Now we block the special one. And thanks to Raiden's passive, we were not power drained. We can just apply now the special one and take out Johnny with the crushing blow. And now here we have Jax. And don't forget, we are on Enraged, so maybe let's just go for Raiden and see if we can reach his fatal blow. He's not dealing too much damage here to us, so that's kind of fine. Let's just work him up. And here we take the next special two. And come under by Raiden. Now let's just take some damage here. Exactly now how we have the Fatal Blow ready. And Raiden can execute that. So beautiful to look at. They really did a great job creating this fatal blow. And that's already the victory. Impressive. And now here we have an off-balance match. And I'm kind of thinking since that one would be now the last match for now, how about we just do something special and maybe go for a little bit Noob Cybot gameplay. Let's load the, my regular Noob Cybot preset up. But we need to equip them here with some Nightmare Tower gear so that they will be able to stand properly against our foes. Main damage dealer here should be classic Noob Cybot. I just managed to max him out. And now with that we should give him the Storm Weaver, for example, and maybe the Killer Jacket. Because Bihan will, or I mean here, MK11 Noob Cybot will need Bihan's Tormentor to deal the damage because he's also capable of doing brutalities, which our gold version of Noob Cybot couldn't do anyway. I think here we don't need to change anything with MK11 Noob Cybot. Now we should give a little bit of extra to Quan Chi. He should be mainly there to support, but of course it's a, like a random tagging match. So he might have to intervene a little bit in between. Let's give him family tools. And Crypt Spider Fang. And then maybe the Living Dead just in case. Okay. That is set up. And with that we should actually be already good to go so let's just jump into the final fight and see how this team performs now we're starting here against black dragon Aaron black fight. Start here with a combo ender by Classic Group Cybot. Ah, this time we didn't break the block. And let's go for the special two. And let's take out Aaron Black. Here we have Shao Kahn. Combo ender by Quan Chi. And let's disable his special attacks. Will obey. And here we have MK11 Noob Cybot. Okay, let's drop that special too. That will already take out Shao Kahn. And of course he breaks the block thanks to his passive. 
combo ender here by classic noob. <laughs> he knocked us out, but we can go right for the next one. And mi dealing minimal damage because the skulls will reflect damage. Now here a special one. Let's just go all in. That will break another skull. And unfortunately it didn't cause bleed. Even though it should. But here next special two. Final skull. Again minimal damage. And combo ender by Cybot. Now we survived that. Let's try to get to the next crushing blow. Let's see if he applied lead now. Nah, not really. Okay. And the block won us this match. Beware the shadows. Well, and I guess with that we are out of attempts, played the attempts for this cycle. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video anyways and hopefully learned a little bit or got at least some inspiration of how to create some presets that are useful in certain situations so that you can just switch to them accordingly depending on what your actual needs are in the match. I usually do it like I have these teams all set up and once a new tower event comes I just equip them with the specific tower equipment and just override the existing presets so this way the teams will always stay the same but the tower equipment changes and therefore then gives you the needed health boost and of course the desired damage boost. So never stop experimenting and happy happy Halloween. Thank you for tuning in once again. If you enjoyed this video please like, comment and subscribe. In case you didn't like the video hit the dislike button twice just to make sure. And if you want to support the channel a little further please consider joining the Patreon family of KC Mobile Gaming. You can already do that with as little as just one dollar a month. And also follow me on social media like Twitter and Facebook. You will find all the necessary information in the description below of every video. If you want to see more content, then why don't you just click on one of those two videos here. Thank you for your support. Have a good one. Casey over and out for today.